kicking it off with an amazing little red truck craft buffalo plaid placemat a dollar at the dollar general you can get this pizza pan at the dollar tree nautical rope at the dollar tree and i picked up some garland um sprig to kind of top it off with so go ahead and get your pizza pie ready and trace it so you can get an approximate size and centered placemat for your truck um, what i did was i went ahead and cut it and then i kind of placed it on top to see how much room i had left Take some time to get it flushed to where it will fit right inside the pan. Take some um, of the black chalk paint. I actually picked this up at Dollar Tree too. And what you wanna do is just paint just the edges. And it's okay if it's not perfect or um, a little messy looking cause you won't even see any of that towards the end. Um, I did go ahead and do two coats. So that way it was um, finished nice. And then on the inside, you wanna take some Mod Podge, which you can also get at the Dollar Tree. And I like to spread it evenly with a paintbrush and just cover the inside of your pie pan. And so what this is gonna do is give us an opportunity to flush down that placemat. And you can see it just already is starting to look really cute. The nautical rope, I went ahead and I got my glue gun ready and you're gonna take the glue gun and go around the inside of the pie pan um, for two um, laps around. And so what this will do is it actually hides any edges that you don't wanna see. And I like it because it gives it a little bit more of that farmhouse rustic look. Um, I also really like the nautical rope because you do get a, quite a bit of uh, rope for a buck. And what I'm doing is just kind of pressing it against the other side of the rope. So that way it's nice and firm in there and um, it's already holded uh, because you're using hot glue. Once you're done with your second lap, you wanna take your scissors and go ahead and cut it. And I actually take my glue gun and just kind of press it and flush it in there. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect because it's gonna get covered. Now I noticed that I really liked the white snowflake background. So I went ahead and took some white chalk paint and just kind of lightly brushed it all over my rope. And I did that just to give it a nice frosted look. I also have some shiplap in my house, so I thought the white frosted look would really help complete that farmhouse effect. Next, um, I'm really just using the evergreen sprigs that I saw on this. Um, I wanted to give it a little topper, so I'm using my glue gun to flush those down on the top. And I had some burlap that, a big roll of it actually, you can pick these up anywhere. I, I paid, I think, $2 for this big roll. And then I'm using some Buffalo check uh, ribbon. I'm using about six inches of each and I like to create tail ends on the, on the ends of mine. So just fold it in half, cut a little tail end, do it on both sides. And you're gonna wanna get your jute twine out because the jute twine is the way that I actually pinch and hold it together. So take your jute twine and gently um, wrap it around and then you'll want to fluff the front and I like when I fluff the front of mine I kind of pull it away from each other and that way I kind of curl it as well I take my fingers tuck it underneath and curl it so that way the bow looks nice and fluffed out and you'll want to just take some hot glue I load it up with glue and press it down on the front so that way it stays nice and firm take your pie pan on the back you're going to create your own little handle so cut off the excess Go ahead and glue it down. And then I actually am all about reusing. I reuse my little tail ends that I cut to just kind of finish off to avoid fraying the edges of my rope. And there you have it, a beautiful door display. I hope y'all like it. Share the joy with others.